Hi guys, it's Susie. Today we're going to learn how to make candles. You know why? Because we're cheap and we like to do it ourselves, don't we? Let's make it. So I'm making a soy candle, but the prep work is all about the same. I'm using just a glass container. This is leftover from another candle. Thrift stores are a great option for lots of different containers. And if you're wanting to make them in bulk, you can buy them in bulk online. Um, I'm using a wick that is going to be good for the width of my, what is this? Radius? Radius, I think. This is circumference. Radius of my candle. And if I have a big candle, I need a thicker wick. Um, this one is a cotton wick. I bought it in a spool. You can also buy them already with the wick tabs and um, all of these supplies are linked below. I'm using a wick tab and really all that we need to do is put the wick through the little hole that's in there and pull it through and then drag it all the way down and with some needle nose pliers you're just going to pinch the top of it and that's going to hold the wick in place so it doesn't fall out. Maybe do a little bit tighter. There we go. Use some hot glue and put just a little dot of hot glue right there at the bottom and this is going to attach it to the container. Press it right in the center for a few seconds. This is a quick option to getting that right in the center. All right. And a handy dandy trick that I'm going to use is a jumbo popsicle stick and I've cut a little slit in it and this is what's going to hold the wick in place. So whenever I start pouring the candle, it's not going to move around on me. And I just want to make sure that I have this lane nice in the middle and it looks completely vertical all the way around that way it's going to burn evenly the only difficult thing about making candles is figuring out how much wax and fragrance oil you need so i found this really useful tip if i want to make a candle out of this eight ounce jar the amount of wax is two times as much when it's solid than when it's liquid i don't know if that makes any sense but what i'm going to do is if i want to make this a candle i'm going to pour wax in this two times put it in there melted and it'll melt it to one. Ah! I am using soy wax and it's just in flake form. Um, all this stuff seems like a lot of money up front, but to give you an idea, I've had this wax for three years and I bought 10 pounds of it. I can't tell you how many candles I made, but it's a lot. So I'm going to use a handy dandy scooper and I'm gonna fill up this container twice. And this is how much wax I need. I poured all my wax in here. I'm using a hot plate. Um, because this is my quiet spot and my kids can't find me. But you can also use your stove. And I've set it on medium, and it's not gonna take very long for the wax to melt, but I want to gently stir it as it is melting. Whenever the wax looks completely melted, I'm going to use a candy thermometer, and I'm going to see how hot it is. And you want it about 185 degrees for the fragrance oil to fully incorporate into the wax. And it's about right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my little stove here. I'm gonna put it on a hot plate and I'm gonna add in the fragrance oil. And just to give you an idea, it's one ounce of fragrance oil per pound of wax. Um, and a pound of wax is about five cups. So I'm slowly gonna pour in the fragrance oil and I'm gonna stir as I pour it in. And I have measured mine out to about half of an um, ounce for this candle that I'm making. I'm gonna slowly turn it, try not to get any air bubbles, about 20 times this way, 20 times that way. And I've removed it, you can kind of see some of the smoke coming off, so it might be a little too hot. I've had better luck pouring the candle while it's still pretty hot than waiting for it to cool a ton. A lot of websites will tell you differently. Um, I think it's gonna depend on the fragrance oil that you're using and maybe the type of wax that you're using. So I'm gonna test it again really quick before I pour it. I'm at about 165 degrees. I'm getting ready to pour the wax in. I wanna make sure that my wick is standing straight up and it's all still attached. And I'm gonna to try to slowly pour in the wax as slow as I can. Remember, the amount of wax I used was two times as much as the glass container that I'm using. So that's all there is to candle making. Um, you can get as scientific with it as you want. I do this as a hobby for myself. So if you're trying to make some from other people or sell them, you might really wanna look into the different times to pour and there's a lot of troubleshooting with candle making. So if you guys have any tips or suggestions, leave them in the comments. I'd love to see and hear your feedback. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna set this thing on fire and enjoy, maybe. There she is, fantabulous. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Peace.